Age with Grace by Dr. Harvey Castro. You ever meet someone and you're like, wait, how old are they again? Like, they just seem so much younger, you know? That's what got me thinking about all this aging stuff and digging into this book, Aging 2.0 by Dr. Harvey Castro. It's a really fascinating look at aging, especially now that we're living longer and longer, right? It really is. And one of the things that really struck me early on is this whole idea of like, chronological age versus biological age. Yeah, they're not always the same thing, are they? Definitely not. So for folks listening, chronological is, well, that's just the number, right? How many years you've racked up? Exactly. <laughs> the years on your driver's license. But then there's this whole other age, your biological age, which Castro says is more about how well your body is actually doing. It's more like a measure of your cell's health. You yeah. Know, <laughs> how much wear and tear they've experienced. Okay, so is it like saying... Two people could be the same age on paper, but one's body might be like 10 years younger. That's a good way to put it. Some people just age more gracefully than others. Right. right. And their lifestyle choices often have a lot to do with it. Fascinating. So what actually determines this biological age then? Is it just luck of the draw? Well, Dr. Castro gets into the nitty gritty of it all. You know, all the science-y stuff happening at the cellular level. Things like telomere shortening, stem cell exhaustion, all these things play a role. Right. And those things sound kind of intimidating, you know, when you first hear them. Like, am I supposed to understand what those even are? Well, they're complex processes for sure. But the book does a really good job of breaking them down in a way that's easy to understand. It really does. Like, he compares telomeres to the plastic tips on your shoelaces, which... I have to admit, made me laugh. And it's a great analogy, right? Those tips protect the shoelace from fraying, just like telomeres protect our DNA when our cells divide. As they wear down, our cells can't replicate as well. Oh, I see. It's like the body's natural aging process in action. And what about stem cells? I hear a lot about those, but I'm not sure I totally get it. Think of stem cells like your body's own little repair crew. They can become any type of cell and help regenerate tissues, but over time, they become less effective. So as we get older, our repair crew shrinks and they get a little slower at their jobs. Yeah, exactly. It's like anything else, right? Yeah. Things wear down. But, and this is important, the rate at which they wear down, that's not entirely out of our control. So what we do actually impacts how we age at the cellular level. Tell me more. Absolutely. And that's what's so empowering about this whole conversation, I think. It's not just about accepting aging. It's about understanding that we have a say in how it plays out. So it's not all bad news after all, huh? Not at all. There's a lot we can do to support healthy aging, and that's what Dr. Castro really emphasizes. I like that he doesn't just give vague advice like, eat your veggies. He actually explains why these things matter based on, you know, actual science. Right. He connects those cellular changes we were talking about to practical things we can do every day. Like what... What were some of the things that stood out to you? Well, he has whole chapters on exercise and diet, of course. But honestly, the one that surprised me most was how much he emphasized hydration. Hydration? Really? I always feel like I hear about everything BUT drinking enough water these days. I know, right? But it's so crucial, especially as we get older. What's the connection with aging specifically? Well, did you know that our sense of thirst actually declines with age? Seriously. So it's not just me forgetting to drink water. My body's actually getting worse at telling me to do it. Exactly. So we might be getting dehydrated without even realizing it, and that can have a big impact. Wow. Like what kind of impact are we talking about? Oh, it can affect everything from your energy levels to your cognitive function. Even mild dehydration can make you feel sluggish and foggy. Okay. I am definitely guilty of not drinking enough water. Note to self, carry a water bottle everywhere. Anything else that you've already started doing differently after reading this? Let's see. Aside from upping my water intake, I've also been trying to prioritize sleep a bit more. Ah, sleep. The holy grail. Everyone's always telling us to get more sleep, but it's easier said than done, right? Tell me about it. But Dr. Castro really breaks down why it's so important, and not just for feeling rested. He explains how crucial it is for cellular repair and hormone balance. So when we don't get enough sleep, we're basically accelerating the aging process from the inside out. Kind of, yeah. He even calls sleep the ultimate rejuvenation hack, which I love. Okay, I'm sold. More sleep, more water. What else can we do to, you know, hack this whole aging thing? Well, that's where it gets really interesting because Dr. Castro doesn't stop at the usual lifestyle advice. Mm. He also delves into the world of technology and how it's changing the game when it comes to aging. 
Okay, now that is fascinating. I think we need a whole other segment to unpack that because I have a feeling that's where things get really mind-blowing. Oh, absolutely. We're just scratching the surface here. All right, so we've covered how important things like staying hydrated and getting enough sleep are for aging well. But Dr. Castro doesn't stop there. He goes even further. He dives into all the incredible technological advancements that are already starting to change how we age. This is what I've been waiting for. It really is mind-blowing stuff. When I hear technology and aging, I think like those alert bracelets that'll call for help if grandma falls or something. Right, but it goes way beyond that. Dr. Castro is talking about technology that could actually help us prevent those falls in the first place. Exactly. He seems particularly excited about telemedicine. <laughs> telemedicine is going to revolutionize healthcare as we know it. I'll be honest, I always pictured those awkward video calls with my doctor. Sure, that's part of it, but it's so much bigger than that. What else is there? Imagine a world where you have access to the very best specialists no matter where you live. Okay, that makes sense. Imagine virtual support groups for any health concern you can think of. And all of that's right there on your computer. Right at your fingertips. That would be incredible, especially as we get older, and it might be harder to get around. It would be a game changer. And it's not just telemedicine, is it? Not even close. He also mentions AI. Artificial intelligence is already starting to play a huge role in healthcare. He even talks about using ChatGPT for health coaching. Can you imagine having a chatbot that helps you stay on track with your health goals? I'm not going to lie, that sounds a little strange. It does, doesn't it? Like, I can barely get my smart speaker to play the right song half the time. I hear ya. I'm not sure I'm ready to trust a chatbot with my health. It's understandable to be skeptical. But Dr. Castro makes a really compelling case. He explains how AI can analyze your health data, like from your Fitbit or your Apple Watch, even your genetic information. To create a personalized health plan. Exactly. It's like having a team of experts available to you 24-7. That would be amazing. It would be like having a personal trainer, a nutritionist, and a therapist all rolled into one. And this is all stuff that's happening right now. It's not science fiction. It's the future of aging. I'm starting to think we really are on the verge of something incredible. I think Dr. Castro would agree with you on that one. This entire deep dive has been so eye-opening. It's empowering to realize that we have more control over how we age than we ever thought possible. It's not just about accepting aging. It's about taking charge. And using all the tools at our disposal to live longer, healthier, and more fulfilling lives. And that is a future I can definitely get behind. Me too. Well, that's about all the time we have for today's deep dive. It's flown by. If you're as intrigued by the future of aging as we are, be sure to check out Aging 2.0 by Dr. Harvey Castro. It's an incredible read. It's packed with even more insights than we had time to cover today. And it will definitely leave you feeling inspired and empowered. Until next time, here's to taking charge of our health and making those years count.